Welcome back. It is time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth, where we ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of items chosen from the PTL mailbox. So we're changing things up a bit. We're going to review three items. We're also working on some ways to get you at home more involved in the game because we know so many of you like to play yes. along with us. So we hope that you got your boards out and you're playing along with us. Dr. Lori, summer is here. We're so happy to see you. Summer is here. I'm happy to see you too. So and you have items from your jewelry box or jewelry items, we right? Love that. We know you jewelry, love jewelry. Jewelry items are here. You know, in the summertime, you want to have some more casual jewelry, you know, beads and stuff. You don't want to put on the diamonds. So that's what we have out uh, today some casual jewelry. So <laughs> let's start with our first item. And this one is from Anne. Anne is 95 years young. She watches religiously with her caregiver, Joanne. I want to give a shout out to both of them. Oh, hello. And thanks. I know. Isn't that great? Thanks for sending this in. It's a dragon plate. It's hand painted porcelain made in Japan around 1940, 1950. It's a nice example. It has a good hand painting and I believe it's nine inches in diameter. It's mm. really detailed. Yeah. Would this yeah. have been part of a set or was this always like an original plate by itself? One plate, one. Okay. Not part of a set. And how yeah. common would it be for these to exist today in good condition? And this looks in good condition. Um, not well, you know, porcelain's porcelain, so it's fragile. So yeah. I mean, you know, there are fewer of them because it's fragile. And if you're using them, these are more cabinet plates, decorative plates. Uh, so I don't think there's millions of them out there, but there are enough of them out there. Oh, okay. Hard, okay. hard. Okay. I don't know. I said $90. I went lower than that. I said $50. You know, 90 was a good guess. It's worth 150. Oh, no kidding. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. Nice yeah. All right. Um, next up is a red decanter with floral decorations. This was sent in by Kevin. So while the the um, image looks more orange red, it's actually more of a cranberry color. Uh, sometimes this happens with these white boxes. Uh, this piece is a nice piece. A lot of people use these when they're listing pieces online. Uh, this is a decanter and it is uh, ruby glass or red glass, not really ruby, but red glass cut to clear. So you'll see it's etched. So it's not specifically incised or cut to clear, but it's etched. So you can see some of the, the clarity or the clear glass coming through. Um, it has its original stopper. It's from the middle part of the 20th century. Um, and you can see uh, the flower forms at the bottom. It's a nice piece. Um, I would say there are many, many, many of them out there. Okay. Okay. And was it made by like a famous company? No, no, they're okay. mass produced in large numbers. And it was mass produced? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. I said 60. All right. I said 50 again because sooner or later something's going to be worth $50. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey Hood always goes with that idea. Yeah. Sooner or later, something will be fifty. And it's not a bad, it's not a bad method. I have to say, it's worth sixty-five dollars. <laughs> okay, not this time around. David, oh I no, feel. no, no, no! <laughs> it's not, not happening around. for me. <laughs> okay. And last up, we have a cookie jar, and I know that these can be collectible. They can be collectible. This one also mass produced. This one's from the 1980s, trying to look like the 1960s. Um, you can see as well that it has, you know, sort of the little old lady who lived in the shoe kind of theme, uh -huh. which was very popular in the 1960s. Uh, this one is American made, and I believe it's about 11, 10, 11 inches tall. It's always great when you guys give me some dimensions to work with too. But it looks like that the glazing and the ceramic is in good condition, no chips, no cracks. I would assume, mm. like you said, it's made in the 80s to look like it was from an earlier period. If it were yeah. from that earlier period, it would be worth more, right? That's right. Heather would be absolutely right in her comment about, hey, these can be very collectible, but yes. usually they're the older ones that are more collectible. There was one, actually, we have a, a I've had one of them on the, the table before here in the studio of the little old lady who lived in a shoe. So very, those nursery rhyme ones from the 50s were very popular after World War II. Yeah. Do you have a guess? I do have a guess. I said 40. I said 40 as well. <gasps> I strayed for my $50 guess. It's $50, David. <laughs> no, no, it no, is. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lori. <laughs> did we just see a David Highfield tantrum? I think we did. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. But well, we little both tantrum. get the point anyway. This is too much. Okay. All right, and you are the winner today, Heather, with your three points as opposed to my one point. <laughs>
Dr. But we're Lori, all winners. We keep saying that David brought <laughs> Monday energy to a Tuesday, and that's where he's gone wrong. Today. I know. Everything's that's off kilter, like. Dr. Lori. <laughs> I know. That's what we like. That's why we do it. Hey, and I've got to get a PTL. I need it probably an XL. I need a t shirt. We're so getting it I'm to you. Send in, I'm going to send in a million dollars, and you can get me one. <laughs> it's in the mail to you today, Dr. Lori. I love it's, those. It doesn't love cost those. that much. <laughs> Thank you. <Okay. laughs> Thank I don't you have so to, much. I don't have to, like, you know, take a loan on the house. It's Good free for you, you Dr. Lori. <laughs> we love you. Thank you so Happy much. Happy summer. Happy All summer. Right. You too. And thank you at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to uh, our email, ptl at kdka.com. Dr. Lori will get them. Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. And remember, we're working on a fun new way for viewers to participate even more. So stay tuned for that. If you have any ideas, send them our way.